Sir Winston has a white cap on. It's already happened. He would have shifted out in front of the horse with a white stripe down his face, and that would have been War of Will. Pretty hard to see in that shot. Let's go back and look at Tacitus. Tacitus and War of Will bumped briefly, and then Tacitus came on and closed strong. Good point made by Randy. He was very wide around the second turn. You can see a little bumping there. Could be incidental. But I agree, it was, it's hard to be that wide and still maintain your momentum while a horse is getting through on the inside. He's yeah. a grinder, he still keeps going, but he didn't have the turn of foot that Sir Winston did late in the race. At the very top of the stretch, in order to shift out and find racing room, Sir Winston did move out mm -hmm. in front of War of Will. But quite frankly, I don't think that's enough to warrant an inquiry or an objection. Larry Colmus. Tyler Gaffleyon and War of Will. The Preakness winner are in line, and here comes Tacitus and Jose Ortiz. They go in, they're all in line. We're ready for a start. Tacitus is back down here. Just straighten him out, get him back into the starting gate. Ready for a start. They're off in the Belmont Stakes. And it is Jovia who comes out running well on the lead. Tax is away running in second position. Spinoff is just off of them. And War of Will will find himself fourth early on. And tucking in right behind him is Tacitus, who's fifth and drafting in behind War of Will into that first turn. And then it's ever fast and trepid hearts or Winston on the inside, followed by Bourbon War. And last of them all is Master Fencer through a 23.92 opening quarter mile. So they make their way around this first turn here at Belmont Park where Jovia, the expected pacemaker, is doing just that. He's on top by three quarters of the length. Racing in second is Tax Spin. Blue Boy going very well, romping home in contention as they run towards the home turn. It's romping home, Blue Boy, the Colonel, Opera Knights. Opera Knights making ground. They're well into the straight now of the Queen and the fourth Jubilee Stakes. It's romping home, Blue Boy, the Colonel, Opera Knights. Well into the final furlong. These four have the race between them. It's romping home, Blue Boy, Colonel, Opera Knights. Romping home, starting to make ground on the outside. It's Romping home, striding towards the line. Romping home, it's going to win the Queen and the fourth Jubilee Stakes. It's Romping home, wins it. Second is a photo, fourth Opera Knights, the flyer is finished. Javier Castellano sitting off the pace here, they're three lengths behind. Tyler Gaffleyon settling back, war of will, under stop restraint here, fourth on the outside after a half mile in an easy 48.79 seconds. The pace has not been fast. And that it's Intrepid Heart racing on the outside of Everfast, who's in mid pack. Jose Ortiz and Tacitus are three deep up the back stretch, and they're five lengths from front running Jovia. Then a break of another two and a half to Sir Winston, and that it's Bourbon War, and Master Fencer is last, and he's 11 lengths behind. So up the back stretch they go. Three quarters up in 113.54 seconds. Less than six furlongs remain in this Belmont Stakes, and it's been Jovia all the way so far. Tax continues to pursue him as they race for the far turn. And then it's spin off on the outside. At the rail ever fast. War of will outside of horses yet to be given his cue. He's four lengths behind with a half mile to go. Meanwhile, Jose Ortiz is starting to ask more from Tacitus. And Sir Winston has slipped through an opening on the inside as they make their way around the far turn. Still Jovia, still Tax. And on their outside, it's spin off. And War of Will is moving now. And so too is Tacitus. It's very wide. And Sir Winston is right in contention behind horses as they make their way to the top of the stretch. And they're into the stretch. And it is Jovia and Tex. Sir Winston comes up on the outside. And he got in front of War of Will. And Sir Winston has moved to the center of the track under Joel Rosario to take the lead. On the inside, Jovia fights on. Tacitus is there. And then Tex between horses. Master Fencer on the far outside. They're coming to the finish. And Sir Winston has won the Belmont Stakes. And then it was Tacitus second, followed by Jovia third. It's a photo for fourth. The final time was two minutes, 28.30 seconds. Just the third win in 10 starts for Sir Winston. So Mark Cassie trains the Preakness winner and the Belmont winner, but it's two different horses as Sir Winston, a 10 to 1 shot, comes through with the victory here in the Belmont Stakes. Sir Winston 
mid to back early, made a bold move around the turn, up the inside, great move by jockey Joel Rosario, looking for a place to go as he turned for home, eyeing in there and then angling out in the stretch, kind of pinched War of Will. He got taken a little bit as he, War of Will did, as Sir Winston moved out for racing room. I don't know how bad it was, but it was a little bit of a steady by Tyler Gaffley on a War of Will, but a tremendous race by Sir Winston coming off the pace today in the Belmont. And the difference in the race turns out to be ground saved as opposed to ground lost, as it often is. Tacitus three wide on the first turn, four to five wide on the second turn. Now let's take a look and see exactly what transpired.